Hello, everyone, and welcome to STEM 280, Exploring Society and Culture via Science Fiction. My name is Dr. Carter. Just wanted to make a quick note that I'm about to give you an overview of this course, but importantly, I am most likely not your instructor. I am one of the faculty that helped design this course, and again, just wanted to give you a quick overview of the fun that you are looking forward to with it. So, what are we going to do in STEM 280? We are going to definitely talk about some historical works of science fiction. We're also definitely going to talk about some modern works of science fiction. But importantly, even though this is a STEM course, we are not going to be focused on the science or the technology. So if we were to talk about warp speed or a flux, flux capacitor, for example, we would not be talking about the physics of those things. We would not be talking about the mathematics of those things. Instead, what we are hoping to do is talk about the interaction and the interplay between society and science fiction and science fiction onto society. Science fiction is really a great tool for letting us consider consequences of STEM decisions, STEM actions, STEM developments. So if we were to create a particular piece of technology and introduce it to society, how will people interact with that? How will people respond to that? Vice versa, we actually can see that works of science fiction have directly influenced what people, what individuals expect from STEM advances, what they expect to have when they get, um, you know, an artificial intelligence uh, assistant in their pocket, otherwise known as Siri or Alexa. So we will be looking at that in the connection. And we will also be looking at how some works of science fiction have directly influenced the development of a STEM advance. Um, you'll see some of those in particular in the first couple of weeks of this course. And lastly, we really, really want to stop and consider the different questions that we can ask as part of STEM and the different questions that we experience as part of society. So rather than talking about, can we do something from a STEM perspective, We'll talk about should we do something or what happens if we actually do do something. And we'll see how works of science fiction let us consider these different scenarios. I'm not going to go in detail through the course outcomes. I just want to emphasize that, again, we are truly looking at that interaction, that interplay between works of fiction that are focused on STEM, so science, technology, engineering, and math, and that interplay with society. Um, you will have an opportunity to select either a particular work of science fiction or an author um, and expand a little bit upon that interaction or that career path. Um, for example, you may find as a result of this course that many science fiction authors actually have STEM backgrounds. That'll be something you'll get to um, incorporate and in research in the course of this class. So again, why do we want to do this? We really need to stop and think. We need to ask those questions about should we do these things? Should we do them? And if we do, what happens? We want to look at human change. And that can be human change in expectations. That can be human change in societal norms and customs. Um, we'll also look at different types of societies. And science fiction allows us to examine what we can consider to be a utopian society. It will let us examine what we would consider to be a dystopian society. And we'll talk about how works of science fiction will let us, let us examine those particular ideas. And as I mentioned already, we will talk about um, the interaction between inventions and works of science fiction, science fiction's influencing inventions and expectations. Um, what you need to know coming into this course, there is no prerequisite for this course. Um, so there is no STEM knowledge required. Again, we're not gonna focus on the STEM techniques or the STEM aspects of it. You just really need to come into this class with uh, an openness and an eagerness to learn and to really think about the scenarios presented in this class. Where you can go with this class, um, for many of you, this may be a general education course. Um, so you have opted to take this as one of your general education requirements. For others of you, particularly those of you who are in STEM programs, this may be a required course for your program one way or another. It is absolutely relevant for both the STEM and non-STEM majors, and your class will certainly be mixed. So be prepared and willing to learn from each other as much as you're learning from your instructor. 
If you really, really love this course, do be aware that there is a course that we would consider a follow on, and that is STEM 380 which is the co-evolution of society, culture, and technology. So if you really love this course, you really love the thought exercises that you experience in this course, and at the end of this course, consider if you might be able to fit that into your program or you're just interested in taking the course. STEM 380 will not be a general education requirement. And again, if you are in a STEM program, that course may be required for your program anyway. So we look forward to seeing you there. And with that, I will say good day and enjoy. And remember, if you do have any questions at any point in time about the content of this course or a particular assignment, your instructor is a great resource there to help you. And I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much.